Hey folks, I am doing a, uh, a project to build a table saw jig to cut dovetails with. Now this is on your table saw, not using a hand method, but uh, anyway, so this is this is the tails part of the dovetail, and I've got a special saw blade that cuts uh, these angles uh, in here at seven degrees, and it, the, the uh, teeth of the blade are ground in such a way so that they present a seven degree angle uh, in there. And uh, there are several uh, challenges to this. You've got to have a jig. I didn't realize it to begin with, but uh, you really have to have a jig. So here's my sliding table jig. And what that does, uh, it's got a front here that, it, you know, because you're going to cut the board and uh, this holds it together. And there's a fence in the back of this and the fence can sit at either a seven degree angle this way, which is going to be for pins, one side of the pins, or seven degrees this way, which is for the other side of the pins, or straight, which is what's for your tails. And you actually tilt the blade uh, to do the tails. And uh, you can turn your piece around and so forth. So uh, you'll cut this piece as you run through the blade. Uh, this piece, you know, you'll cut actually this side, that side, and then you'll flip it around and cut this side and that side uh, to get your, your tails done. Uh, and then you're ready to do your pins, and you have to do your pins with that with the board angled, and the blade's going to be straight at that point. But um, and it's going to be a flat ground blade, so you have to have two different blades to do this. Uh, but let me show you the blade now. Uh, well, but actually, let me show you this bottom of this slit. So this, this slit is a, a, a phenolic uh, a runner, uh, three quarters of a degree, I mean three quarters of an inch uh, to fit in here and hold it straight. I have to warn you something about these phenolic runners. When you, I've already messed one of them up. Uh, when you drill your holes to put the screws through there, you can see uh, the hole right there, or you can see it right, right there. Uh, and if you, once you tighten those screws down, the phenolic will actually spread out a little bit. And so it'll end up being real tight and you can't slide it. So once it spreads out, you want it to be fastened down really tight. And so you spreading it out, tells you that you're tight, but then you're going to have to use a little uh, block plane. And I just have a block plane that I used over here that I used to, uh, to cut off that piece of, uh, actually I didn't use the block plane, I used something different. Uh, it had to be the chisel plane because, no, it, had, it was a shoulder plane. So I used this little shoulder plane like this. And uh, I wanted to cut the fat parts off. You don't want to shave down the whole side because it'll get too loose and wobble around. But you'll want to do this and get the little bump off of each place where the screw is. And so this is a little shoulder plane that does that really well. And, uh, and the reason the shoulder plane is good is because it, the blade runs all the way right down to the edge on both sides. It doesn't have a... So you can lay it down flat and just go right and it'll, it'll cover the whole thing. So that's what the... Uh, shoulder plane does you don't want to like again you don't want to do that whole thing but that's okay uh, you can uh, screw it down and then get those little bumps off of it now um so this thing fits in here and it slides really nicely across that it's good and tight so that it won't it won't wobble back and forth i mean it's going to be square and true the one thing that that uh i need to tell you about is that um, this little fence that's going to be on here, now this is just a mock-up right here, so this is not the actual fence, but the fence is going to be six inches high, so you can, because your boards are going to be mounted this way, clamped down this way, and they're going to be like a, it could be a drawer side board, could be this tall or whatever, so uh, that's what you've got here. So uh, you want a um, zero clearance, uh, be able to cut a kerf through your board, through your fence, and uh, be able to refresh it from time to time because the zero clearance always gets kind of messed up. Uh, I, I had a I've got this this miter gauge right here, and you can see how this is no longer a zero clearance. It's been uh, walling around and and so forth. So that's uh, that's why you get a little insert, and this is hardboard. But the way this insert works is it, it, it's beveled with the same bevel blade that's on there. 
And so I cut I cut this this out in the middle here with the blade risen up to the thickness of this hardboard right here. And uh, I don't let me see if I can show you close up on this camera right here. So can you see the blade uh, right there? Uh, it's got that bevel and, and that's that's cut with that, that uh, and then I just wasted out the rest of it. And so there's a bevel on the other side. So this little piece of hardboard right here also has the bevel on each side. So I think you can you might be able to see it right here. So this is the bottom side of this, which is rough, by the way, is the wider part. And at the top, it's, it's narrower. So when it slides in here, it slides in here like a little dovetail. And so this, this hardboard right here slides in all the way like that. And so that becomes your insert right there, your zero clearance insert. And then it can be, you know, used a couple, you know, a few times. And, and when it starts getting a little sloppy, uh, you just build a new one. And, and that's the that's the reason I'm making this video series right now, is I want to show you how I did this. I want to, first of all, and then, I'm, and then later on, I'll have another part, which I can show me building the drawer sides. Uh, I've got a, uh, over in that corner over there, right, see that blank spot on the wall over there? That's a little cabinet that's going to go there. That's where I used to hang my screwdrivers, but I'm running out of room. This whole tool wall is just filled up with stuff. And so I'm building a little cabinet that'll come out and have doors on it, and I'll be able to hang a lot more screwdrivers on it. So that's what I'm doing with uh, my screwdrivers, but I wanted that to be a dovetailed cabinet. Uh, where the sides are dovetailed together and this was a, a fast way to do it made a bigger project out of it but so uh when you tilt your blade you cut your tails and then you, you move this fence and there's going to be three holes for the fence where it pivots at this point can you see the pivot point here let's see let me show you this camera so the pivot point is right here on this thing and then these lines separate by seven degrees so there's a 90 degree line and there's seven degrees off 90 and seven degrees off 90 the other way so that's that's how that works and uh this will be a little hole on the other end of this fence uh that that this will be the locking pin that that locks it in at 90 or locks it in at seven degrees to the left or seven degrees to the right so that your pins uh, will fit into those tails just perfectly and so uh, this is the challenge right now is to do this. Now let me show you the blade because the blade's an important part of this thing. I've already got it mounted in this table saw. So coming up, and let me see if I can get a good angle on this thing. Um, oh yeah, so uh, I need to get close up here. So, you can see, you know, I, I need to get lined up with it, I think. So, can you see the tops of those teeth? This one's going up. They all go up on the left-hand side there. And so I would have to tilt that blade to make it to make it flat. So that's what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to tilt this blade. And when it's at 7 degrees, that's more than 7. I'll come back. So that's right at seven degrees blade tilt with this. And so uh, with that tilted like that, the tops of these teeth are now, horiz are now horizontal. Uh, and so the blade's tilted, but the teeth themselves are uh, completely flat like that. So it's all about uh, ground to the left-hand side. And it's, it's interesting that it's at seven degrees. Uh, that's a good degree for dovetails, but it's not the standard uh, an eight to one ratio is how they usually uh, uh, call out dovetail angles and so forth. An eight to one is actually 7.1 degrees. Uh, but the, this blade that I bought is actually just seven degrees. So uh, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be a little bit non-standard, but since the entire jig will be based on the seven degrees, it'll be just fine. So put that back here. All right, so what I'm gonna do uh, is show you how I, uh, First of all, cut this board, and it has to be a, a, a two-inch gap, and there's going to be a, a track, a T-track on each side of it. And then how I built this board. This board is an interference fit. It, it slides down. It's kind of, you can feel that it's got some pressure behind it, so it slides down. I'm going to have to drill a hole in it so I can get it out because I won't be able to reach it from the bottom, but 
I'm seeking it to get it out, I've got to uh, pull it back like that. So it's an interference fit from both sides, which means I can pick it up like this and it's not moving. Uh, but you want it to be an interference fit so that, that it's, it's completely flat across here and also completely against uh, the bottom edge of that thing as it, as it comes in. So you don't see any gap between the bottom of that hardboard and the bottom of that kerf right there. So that's why it's, it's completely flat. But that, that is really difficult. You can't just do it on a table saw. Uh, you've got to use a shooting board. And so that was another part of this project was I had to build a ramp that fit this seven degrees for my shooting board. And so I cut a number of these, um, these pieces like this. This is a seven degree ramp angle and I, I glued a bunch of them together. Matter of fact, let me go get it and show it to you. So this is my seven degree ramp. So uh, this is, so I lay this board, hard board, it goes down against here. And so now that, that angle of this is, is vertical. So my, my shooting board, as it comes through, it'll shave that off here. And you can shave off a couple of thousandths of an inch at a time uh, with, a, with a, uh, a tool like that, um, a shooting board. And uh, you can just <coughs> take, a, take a couple of thousandths of an inch off, see if it fits, take another couple of thousandths of an inch off and see if it fits and, and pretty soon you'll get it just right. Now, what's interesting is uh, if, a lot of times when I first tried this a couple of times, it was looser on one end than it was on the other. That's because, uh, you know, maybe I was pressing a little bit and getting a little bit more on, on one side than, than the other, but uh, you can solve that completely uh, by uh, uh, taking a shaving off just one side, uh, just Maybe, you know, you start kind of in the middle and then and, uh, make it short, uh, narrower a little bit on that side just to get it to fit perfectly because you, it's pretty easy to get these things parallel to each other, but then to get uh, this thing working with a hand plane uh, on a shooting board. Uh, so that's the project is to, is to do that shooting board. So uh, what I'll do in the next video is show you how I cut these angles with this saw blade. I've got a, the saw blade will have to be lowered down until it fits just right and then show you how I clean that all this waste and then I'll, we'll set up my shooting board on the other on the other bench table over there and I'll show you how I cut these things you know I'll get close with the, with the saw blade I'll, I'll probably have it a sixteenth of an inch too wide that way I can you know believe it or not a sixteenth of an inch when you're cutting two thousandths of an inch off that's a lot to cut off <laughs> Uh, but uh, you got to have a really good sharp blade on that thing and uh, uh, I'll show you how that works. So that's it folks. Uh, stay tuned for this next part of the series.